Good morning, students. In previous video, we have started lesson number two, number system, and in that video, we have done decimal number system. Today, we are going to do page number twenty-one, and our topics are binary number system, why binary, and conversion of decimal number system into binary number system. The binary number system consists of only two digits, that is zero and one. Since this system uses two digits, it has the base two. All digital computer use this number system to convert decimal data into computer readable form, that is binary equivalent. Students, a computer cannot understand human language. Like English, Hindi, Punjabi that we know or that we people use for normal conversation, rather it understands only the binary code. Therefore, the data that is entered into a computer is converted into its binary equivalent. Let's see. Here I have taken twenty-seven plus twelve, and this is my input. This is in decimal form. Bef after entering data, computer will convert this decimal form into binary form, so that computer can understand this data and able to give the output. This is the binary form, and after binary form, for showing the output on the screen, computer will again convert the binary form into decimal form, so that user can understand it easily. Now let's discuss. how to convert decimal number system into binary number system so that computer can understand easily students decimal is a number system that we use in a day to day life now here i have taken example 25 and i am going to convert 25 into binary form that is in 0 and 1 now let's see how to perform this task to solve this sum First of all, you have to draw a pattern, like you people do LCM in your normal mathematics. In the same way, we will do this sum, but one condition is there: we will divide a digit or a number with two only, because binary number system has base two. So I am going to convert into binary. So I will take a base value two, and I will divide every quotient with two only. See. First of all, draw this pattern. Now, next step is divide the given decimal number with base value two. We have decimal number twenty-five, and I'm going to divide it with the two. See here, when you will divide twenty-five with the two, it will goes at twelve. Means twelve to the twenty-four. Here condition is there. We will divide only with two. We can't take any other number for division. So I have done division here. Twelve to the twenty-four. And after division, you will get a remainder one. Here one is a remainder and twelve is a quotient. Students, you will always write remainder this side, this right side. And question here. Twelve is a quotient, and one is a remainder. Again, divide twelve with two, and output is six. Six is a quotient, and zero is a remainder because six to the twelve. Next step. Again, divide six with two. Three. Three to the six, and again zero is a remainder. Next, next step. Divide three with the two, and repeat the step till the quotient is zero. One to the two, and again one is a remainder, and one is a quotient. Now, next step. I want zero at the end. So now I will divide one with the two, and I will take quotient as a zero because this is not possible. To divide one with two, and the answer of this 
sum is in the binary form and one condition is there that you will write answer from this remainder only this remainder part only you will write as a answer and how you will write you will move from bottom to top start writing from bottom like i have written 1 1 0 0 1 from bottom to top we will write the answer students here we have got the answer in binary form then i will use base value as a 2 with this answer so today we have discussed what is binary number system why do we use it and conversion of decimal into binary number system do practice at home of this method by taking more example like i have taken 25 you can take more numbers to convert decimal into binary number system thank you